my name is uh, Richard, uh, Richard Louis Murray. Um, I came from uh, the island of Malaita. My language group is Koyo. I'm a full-time painter. I do um, probably Impressionism and uh, a lot of messages and stories and uh, paintings uh, uh, like my voice talking to people and relating messages or something like that. Or it can be like an indicator if I see something might probably happen in the future, which I can see something. Like uh, if we keep on this behavior, we can end up like this. So I can use indicator in painting as well. My art is basically to educate people and, and teach them about here, right now, who you are, we are responsible, talk about it, discuss it, and help the country to be a good place to, for everyone. Stuff like that. I believe that art, in general, well, history, I mean, long, long time history, I think it's a very good medium to transfer knowledge, whether it comes in the form of painting or architecture or other topics. It's a way to establish a knowledge in any, uh, any country. I think that's, art is a very important fabric in society because uh, it creates um, an existence of a culture, clan or whatever. You have to have a art to identify themselves. That one here is um, you can see a lot of it around. It's incorporated patterns and fish motif, bird motif. That is very, very old art. We try to revive them. It's a contemporary art now. And uh, this one here, you can see it's got a lot of colors in it. But I think uh, the traditional painters use uh, charcoal and some tree sap and those ones to paint with back then. Uh, now we, we put them on canvas and tell the story of the past. I like to paint history because I try to imagine what it's like back then. And I try to go back in time and start to feel what they feel. Uh, lately I've done one painting of the World War II, Breakwater, Battle. It's happening right here where we stand. Uh, 27 old soldiers were trapped up the hill where King Solomon is now situated. They were stuck there for some time. Somebody flew past, saw them. They do a little bit of art. They, they write help with their vests and some pilots spotted them. And that's how they get rescued. Sadly, some of them lost their lives. So, um, a small one is a very, well, it's very popular with me. I paint a lot of subjects like that because uh, that's where I come from, Alki. It gives a memory of the past, my childhood life. This one is a, is a very uh, special to me. That's Melanesia. She's been, I would say, prostituted or he's been not following the true Melanesia and culture, uh, she lost the uh, uh, dignity. And, uh, that's, that's the painting. As a people, we, we, uh, we've been ripped off by resource and other things. So that art is very, very, uh, uh, that message is very strong uh, in me to tell as well. I, I think I devout and commit my art to um, say stuff that people really don't want to talk about because if they talk about it does hurt. Uh, this one is a very interesting painting. In the villages, probably in town, like I said, there's a lot of social issues that we have. People don't know who they are. So 
a traditional, as a Solomon Islander, there's a very strong culture of how parents find wife for their son and all this kind of stuff. And this one is a very, it's something like that. Uh, in a village, you got ladies wash clothes and domestic chores and all this kind of stuff. Parents might have a look around and said, oh, that lady there works very hard. Or he knows what he's doing or he can manage a house. I wanted her to marry my son. Stuff like that is very, very important uh, for the elders. My voice, um, I, I do it with colors and places and people.